Welcome to a poor little three-wheel combination padlock that I got from a friend of mine who was in Oslo recently. She spent the night in a youth hostel and retrieved it from the waste basket for me. It looks like someone has cut open the shackle because he or she forgot the combination and so the lock is here in the lock lab uh, for my and for our pleasure. Yeah. Lock was very easily to decode. It has uh, false gates, but the gates are really um, yeah, easy to distinguish, uh, true from false gates. So uh, 126 was the actual code. Now the shackle comes out all the way. Um, if you have a false gate, for example, here the zero is a false gate, and if you pull on the shackle, um, you can see that's a true gate, quite a bit of movement, that's a true gate, that's a false gate, almost no movement, so it's really easy to find the right code by the yeah, usual pull picking method. Um, I have plenty of videos online in my decoding playlist, you can look it up and um, watch the video of your choice to learn how to decode locks with false gates. I don't want to spend the time in this video for another decoding session, but I want to open up this lock and look inside, because this lock shows some very interesting properties. Uh, first of all, if you have entered the right code, you can see how much the shackle comes out. That's remarkable. Um, I have one uh, lock here for comparison, a book Wächter, and that's the movement that you get on the shackle if you have entered the right code. Not so much. And also in a false gate, um, the shackle movement is remarkable. So here is, um, this is uh, set to no gate, so that's the play you have if you have no gate. Then let's move it to a false gate and it comes out quite a bit. So that's also very unusual. So these, these properties are interesting for me and I want to open up this lock and uh, compare it to the internals of uh, this lock, for example. Um, I can take apart the Bohr's locks and uh, make a direct comparison. So here are both locks taken apart and indeed there is a remarkable difference in the design. Roughly speaking, on the Burgwächter you turn the teeth of the inner wheels to hopefully meet the position of the true gate, which is um, built in the lock body. Uh, while on the Brooks bull, you turn the inner wheels, which have the gates built in, uh, but the shackle has no moving parts, but only the teeth. So, let's closely inspect for comparison the Burgwächter. You can see the true gate here, which is the big cutout here that goes all the way from the top to the bottom and around you can see more shallow cutouts which are the false gates. So now when you have the shackle in this hole you can align the teeth of the inner wheels by turning the outer wheel and so you have um, the possibility to align all these teeth at the position of the true gate and then the shackle will come out and the lock is open. Yeah, this is different to the Brooks bomb. Here we have nothing built in the chamber. It's all smooth. But the gates are in these inner wheels. And you can see the false gates here and the only true gate. So the false gates are cutouts which which do not go through all the way while of course the true gate does go through all the way. And we look at how the teeth of the of the shackle interact with the gates we can see why this lock is so easy to decode. When we see the play here on the on the true gate, that's quite a bit of movement here. And on the false gate, there is almost no movement. So that's why these locks are so easy to decode, because the difference 
in the feedback from true and false gate is, is so big. And I think you can easily imagine how these uh, inner wheels are located in the chamber here. It's a little bit fiddly to get it through, but I think you can imagine how this sits here and where the outer wheel into oops where the outer wheel with these uh, teeth here interact with this tooth here and therewith can turn the inner wheel and so you can align the the gates uh, relative to the teeth of the shackle which uh, stay at the same place of course and if you have managed to align all the true gates at the position of the teeth of the shackle, you can pull it out and so the lock is open. And you can also see, uh, maybe not on this, yeah, because, um, yeah, so that's the last inner wheel that has only uh, a true gate, but here is one with false gates. You can see how deep these false gates are cut and that's the reason why the shackle comes out uh, quite a bit when you have aligned the wheels to a, to a false gate. Yeah, very interesting to see that there are actually at least two different ways to implement a uh, combination padlock of this kind. I've never thought about this before. Very interesting. Yeah, I hope you also found this interesting and enjoyable and I also hope to see you on the next video and until we meet again Happy picking and happy decoding. Cheers and bye-bye.